Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys some more about if statements. More specifically, we're going to be talking about comparisons. So inside of an if statement, we can actually compare two values. And depending on you know the result of the comparison, we can do different things. This is going to be kind of cool. Um, and essentially what I want to do in this tutorial is I want to build a method. And this method is basically going to be a max method. So the max method um, if you're not familiar, is basically a method where we can give it two numbers and it'll tell us which one is bigger. So we're going to write a method that takes two parameters as input, num1 and num2, and then we'll basically be able to return whichever is bigger. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go below this main method and we're going to create another method. So I'm just going to say static and I'm going to want this to return an integer. So why don't we just say that it's going to return an integer and I'm going to call it get max. And then I'm going to make an open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket. So get max is going to take one or two parameters. So we're going to take in an integer num one, and then we're also going to take another integer num two. Basically, the job of this method is to figure out which of these two numbers is bigger and then return it to the caller. So let's go ahead and set this up. I'm actually going to create a variable. So I'm just going to make an integer. I'll call it result. And I'm not actually going to give this a value yet. So we're going to end up giving this a value inside of the method. And then down here, I'm going to return result. So I'm just going to return this variable. And inside of this method now, our goal is to figure out which number is bigger, right? So inside of this method, we don't know if num1 is bigger or num2 is bigger. We have no idea, right? All we know is that we have two numbers here that we can work with. So what we want to do is use an if statement and an if statement will allow us to do something when a certain condition is true and do something else when a certain condition is false. So I'm going to make an if statement. I'm just going to say if and I'm going to make an open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket. So this is like the sort of outline the structure for our if statement. Now inside of these parentheses, I need to put a condition and remember a condition is a true or a false value. In the previous tutorial, we were using booleans as our conditions. So I had a boolean like is male and another one is tall. And we use that as the conditions for our if statements. But here's the thing, we don't necessarily have any booleans to work with, right? All we can work with here are these two integers. So what I can do is I can actually use something called a comparison. So I can compare the two numbers. So I could actually say like if num1 is greater than num2. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm comparing the two values. But remember, inside of these parentheses, we need a condition. We need a true or a false value. But actually, the cool thing is that when, this, when we do this comparison, this is going to resolve down to a true or a false value. Right, so num1 is either going to be greater than num2 or it's not. There's only two possible scenarios with this comparison. Right? Either it's true and num1 is greater than num2 or it's false and num2 is greater than or equal to num1. Right? So really this gets resolved down to a true or a false value anyway. So these comparisons can be super useful inside of our parentheses. Now inside of this actual if block, if num1 is indeed greater than num2, then we can just set result equal to num1. And then I'm going to make an else statement down here and I'll just say else. And I'm just going to say um, result is equal to num2. So if num1 is greater than num2, then we'll make result num1. Otherwise, we'll make it num2. And then down here, we're just returning result. So this method is basically done. We have everything that we need. We should be able to figure out which number is bigger. So let's go back up here to our main method and I'm going to call this and I'm actually going to print out the answer. So I'm just going to say console dot right line and then inside of these parentheses, we're going to call it. So I'll just say get max and why don't we pass this um, two and ten. So ideally, we're going to get a ten back because ten is the bigger number. So let's go ahead and run this program and you'll see we're getting that ten back. No problem. Um, so let's now see if uh, it's going to work when the first number is the bigger one and hopefully it does. So we should get 20, which we do. So this method is working out and you can see we were able to use this comparison in order to figure it out. So 
that's awesome. And this is pretty cool, but I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's up the ante a little bit. Let's make this a little bit more difficult. Let's say instead of two numbers, we wanted to be able to compare three numbers. So we wanted this max function to be able to tell us the maximum of three separate numbers. Well, in here I can just specify another parameter so I can say num3. And now down here, not only do we have to figure out uh, two of them, but we have to figure out three of them. So of these three numbers, which one is bigger? Now we're gonna wanna use another if statement. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and this time I'll make that same if statement essentially. And now we need a condition. So not only do we need to check to see if num1 is greater than num2, but we also have to check to see if it's greater than num3. So I'm gonna say if num1 is greater than or equal to num2, and so I'm using this and operator, num1 is greater than or equal to num3, then down here we can set result equal to num1. Because if num1 is bigger than num2 and it's also bigger than num3, then we know it's the biggest one, right? So we can just go ahead and return that. But let's say that this isn't the case. I wanna do another one, so I'm gonna say else if, and we'll make a, another condition down here. So I'm basically just gonna say else if num2 is greater than or equal to num1, and num2 is greater than or equal to num3. Right, so if num2 is bigger than num1 and it's bigger than num3, then num2 is the biggest. So we'll say result is equal to num2. Finally, then we can just say else, and down here we can specify the else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set result equal to num3. Because if num1's not the biggest, and remember we checked that up here, and num2's not the biggest, which we checked down here, then num3 is gonna be the biggest. So let's go ahead and test this out. So now we need to include another number. So I'm gonna put like a four in here. So we should get back this 20 because that's the biggest number. And you can see we do. Let's try it with the other places. So let's make this last one here. We'll make this a 40. So this is gonna be the biggest. And we'll see if this works, which it does. So this uh, get max method seems to be working out pretty well. Now, down here you'll notice when I compare the two numbers, I'm using these like greater than or equal to's or before I just use a greater than. These are called comparison operators. And these comparison operators can be used to compare different values. So I can use uh, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. I can also use equal to, and this double equals is special because it's going to allow us to compare these two numbers. So this isn't used for assignment. Like down here, we used a single equals for assignment. So I assigned the value of num1 to result. Up here, I'm comparing the value. So I'm basically checking to see if the value of num1 is equivalent or equal to the value of num2. And then we can also use one more, which is gonna be not equals. And this is gonna be the opposite. So this will say uh, num1 not equal to num2. So that's essentially how we can use comparisons. And you can also, um, in addition to numbers, you could also compare like characters. So I could compare like two characters, um, you know, basically like that. And that's gonna work out just fine. So these comparisons are extremely useful. And I would say that a lot of times when you're using if statements, you're gonna be using comparisons just like that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.